Doctor, if somebody still keeps their amalgam fillings, mm -hmm. can they detox? And, yes. Or does you, that not? You, under the old paradigm of using the chelators, you absolutely cannot do that. Uh, and of course, being a smart biochemist, when I started doing this and I had my 17 amalgams and people said, well, it's going to dissolve the amalgams. And I said, no, 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 no. So thiol groups can't dissolve the metal. You have to oxidize it first. And, uh, and you have to corrode it first. But I didn't realize that there was this massive corrosion layer all through my mouth. And so I took a bunch of chelators and I just went... <laughs> I took the DMSA, I was going to do the challenge test, and you know, I took 400 milligrams. I didn't really see much coming out in the urine, so I took another 400. This is a pretty good dose at this point. And, and I walk into my lab, and, and my employees are just looking at me, and they're like, hello, hello, are you there? They're like, wow, we've never seen you like this. And I, I had to drive out to the airport. I got lost going to the airport that I go to all the time. I was just a complete mess. And I didn't understand it at the time, but once we did some testing where we'd rinse the oral cavity with some chelators and spit it out and measure it, there was a tremendous amount of mercury that's corroding off of these amalgams and they're all over the oral cavity, which means they're all through the gut. And this is this whole story I'm telling you, how the amalgams are coating the gut and blowing out the whole natural detox system. So. Uh, those, the, the chelators are, you have so much vasculature in your mouth that the chelators are actually mobilizing a lot of that mercury into your systemic circulation. So you cannot take the chelators when you still have amalgams. A lot of people get into serious trouble doing that. But this upregulating the natural detox system can be done. Remember I said, well I didn't tell you the, the whole path of detox, but it's starting low moving it up to an intensive period where we're overexpressing the system. We'll have 1.5, 2.5 times the level of normal detox elements in, in your system. You get them to overexpress themselves and then everything comes tumbling, tumbling out. So if you still have amalgams, you just don't get up into the intensives. You stay low and you might work up a little bit and you're going to boost up your own detoxification system. You're going to take a lot of stuff to clear it all out of the gut and to support the glutathione system and that will bring you back a certain, a certain way. You, like I said, you can't go into the real deep detox until you get these out. But you can, using the natural detoxification, you can make some progress on reversing some of the damage. And it all comes down to how much you're retaining versus letting out. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to start releasing more of it, and you're going to make your cellular structure more resistant to what's there.